Hi everybody, don't go out, it's time to learn about some new yarn. It's time to learn about some new yarn, so stick around and watch and we'll talk about some new yarn. <laughs> Welcome to my channel, Bag of Day Crochet. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you're new, we talk about anything and everything that is yarn and crochet related here. And sometimes knit. I don't knit, but I like to talk about it. Okay? Um, so today's video is a yarn review. Now, as always, I will put a disclaimer at the beginning of my video. My yarn reviews are opinion based only. That's it. They are my personal opinions. I do yarn reviews because people ask me to do them. Um, so I just tell you my honest thoughts. I work them up and wash them and dry them and I just kind of show you what they look like after that. And then we talk about all the stuff that has to do with it. So opinion based. The only factual information I give you is the same factual information that you can look up. What it says on their website. Alright? Let's begin, shall we? Alright. Today I'm going to be reviewing one of Lion Brand's new yarn. It's called it's uh, Lion Brand. It's their wool, it's their part of their Woolies collection, Fair Isle. Now, if you don't know what Fair Isle is, it's kind of a technique you can do to get some really cool designs. You know, they can all be different. Um, um, a lot of times you would use multiple different kinds of yarn, different colors of yarn to create that design. But this is actually a Fair Isle yarn where it creates it for you. So it does this for you. See that? Different designs and whatnot. Um, now, why don't we go ahead and read what it says here? Now the Woolies, um, you know, they have the collection of like Woolies Thick and Quick and regular four weight Woolies. I've always liked Woolies. It feels good to me. I like the way it feels. And it always smells so good. So it is a 20% wool and an 80% acrylic blend. But it's not itchy. It's actually fine. I would wear it uh, as, uh, you know, anything scarf or what or whatnot um so the woolies fair isle 5.3 ounces 150 grams 348 yards or 318 meters and it's classified as a four weight yarn now i think that it is a good four weight it's on the thicker side of a four only in my opinion but there you go you can judge for yourself i always say everybody sees a weight of yarn differently but i call that a little bit thicker of a four you call that what you will now the recommended knitting needle size is a five millimeter and the recommended crochet hook size is a six millimeter it is machine washable on gentle and you tumble dry on low okay All right, now, it does say knit and watch the pattern appear before your eyes. No yarn changes needed. Now, um, as I had, this is not the first Fair Isle yarn that has been on the market. Um, so, I can tell you that it is very hard to get the very Fair Isle uh, look with crochet. You can use all single crochet, but it doesn't look as well as when you knit it. Um, so that being said, I did not do a single, I did not do a crochet swatch because I personally wouldn't recommend this yarn for a crocheter unless you're going to be doing all single crochet. Um, if you don't mind doing that, uh, I guess you know or maybe the knit stitch it's pretty uh you know would look okay I, I probably wouldn't recommend it though I mean I wouldn't use it for crochet but I did buy it because I do have a knitting machine and I love the look of knit even though I can't do it I use my knitting machine all right hey I do have a tutorial for this hat if you find, you can find it on into my playlist of hats also a thousand other uh, over a thousand other crochet tutorials on my channel as well Feel free to use them as you like, like make stuff with them and, and um, they're all free for you to enjoy. Okay, sorry, sorry about that. Okay, 
It says online your brand. If you've ever wanted to make a fair isle project but felt too intimidated to try, you're going to love this yarn. We're excited to debut the Woolies Fair Isle. Its unique dye pattern mimics the look of a fair isle without the hassle of multiple bowls of yarn counting and counting stitches. As a member of the beloved Woolies family, it has the feel of feel, warmth, and softness of wool with the easy care acrylic. Okay. Now they got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve different colors. I only have two of them. I did not buy all the colors. Generally I would have, but I did not. So they do have a twelve different colors. Okay. You guys want to see what it looks like? It runs $9.99 on a regular on lionbrand.com. That's what I'm looking at right now. $9.99. It was actually on sale when I bought it. So I didn't pay $9.99 for it. Um, but yes, that's what it runs on a regular price. So I did a swatch. Oh, the color I had in my hand here is called charcoal. So it's a pretty basic gray. And then I have a yellow one which is called Golden Taupe. Very, very pretty. So I did a workup of the Golden Taupe on my knitting machine so we could see that beautiful Fair Isle appearance. Isn't that gorgeous? It is. It's very pretty. I like the yarn, I do. So I, I did make a hat a double layer beanie out of the gray so you can see that's what it looks like and then I did make one out of the yellow which there it is this one's actually reversible but I'm not a fan of this side they're both reversible but this one this side was was prettier I thought Anyways, so that's what it looks like. Now, if you think about it, so this is, was made on an Addy machine, so it's like doubled a layer. You got to think about it. Now, this is beautiful. You know, this would be beautiful for a scarf because, you know, it's, what is it, about six inches wide or something. Now, if you think about it in terms of you're making a blanket, say you're making a big blanket, these are going to be stretched a lot thinner. So the Fair Isle appearance is not going to be as nicely in effect in a bigger project as it is going to be in a smaller project like this because you know these are short rows but the longer rows you start to make the shorter the design will get because you're using more of the pattern up so maybe it's better for smaller projects i don't know um but I think it looks gorgeous knitted up on the knitting machine. So this, remember though, this is double layered, so it's probably 12 inches if, you know, around. And that's how thick the color change is, or the design is. So remember, if you're making like a blanket that's, you know, 36 or 45 or 60 long, it's going to shrink up. The pattern is going to shrink up. Anyways, so I didn't do a crochet test, like I said, but I did do a wash and dry test. This has actually been put in the washer. Uh, I put it in the washer and dryer as per instructions, all right? And it is very soft. It's a lot softer now than it was when it went in, and it was soft when it went in. I like it, um, but it's a lot softer now. But even though it's softer, it did peel or it did fuzz up you see that it started to fuzz it started to fuzz dirt on it potting soil <laughs> i was potting up some plants earlier and you see that fuzz on it that's from being in the washer and dryer so here's a, the washer and dryer one and here's the one that was not put in the washer and dryer So this is a fresh one fresh off the knitting machine so it has a little bit of fuzz but not as bad as the the one that's 
motion dried. I'm trying to hold them up there. So you can see. Let me get them both flat on my hands here. There. Let me lay them over top of each other. There we go. That'll work. That'll work. So you can see the difference there between the this one over here, which was not put in the washer as a dryer, to the one that was. See how much fuzzier that is? Yeah, that's a lot fuzzier. Did it fade? I don't think it faded. Um, I think it just got fuzzier, which might make it appear to look a little bit lighter in color because it got fuzzed out. Um, but I did wash it as per instructions. I don't think the fuzz is like super bad, but it might continue to get worse the more you wash it and dry it. So I think that if I use this um, on my knitting machine and make a hat and a scarf set, I would hand wash mine and lay it flat to dry. But that's my only my, uh, I usually do that with everything anyways. But like I said, this is like super soft now, a lot softer. But it's soft this way too, so. But I like it. I like it a lot. Um, but like I said, you have to remember, I don't think it's going to work good for a crocheter. I could be wrong, you know. If you crochet with this, any type of fair isle yarn, let me know in the comments what stitch you used and what you, how big of a project you made if the fair isle turned out in it or not. Because I haven't had luck with a fair, any fair isle yarns working out in crochet, honestly. So, um, and like I said, this being maybe be best for smaller projects. I just think if you start knitting something bigger, um, you're gonna, it's gonna take away from the, from the, 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 the design there. They're just gonna get, it's gonna get shorter. But it was, it would probably still be pretty. All right. So you saw it knitted up. Looks cool. It's got a cool design. It does what it says. Um, and I'm not crocheting it up because I'm not going to be able to get it to look like that in crochet. Um, you saw it washed and dried. It, it does get fuzzed out after it's been washed and dried. It's extra soft though. It's still pretty. Will it keep getting more and more fuzzier? Probably over time. But that is, it is what it is. You know, it is what it is. And I told you about the colors. They had 12 colors available. They're all very pretty colors. All of them are very pretty. Um, and it's $9.99 on a regular basis. So, I don't know. Um, in today's market of yarn, I don't think $9.99, I don't think that they're out of line asking $9.99 for it, honestly, because there's 348 yards of a four way here. And it's, it's a special four weight because it makes that special design. So, you know, that, that takes extra, you know, work at the yarn facility or the mill or wherever they do it at. And um, so, you know, you got to pay for the extra of it being, making it easier on you. So you don't have to switch colors all the time during a uh, normal fair isle project. But again, I don't think it would be really, I don't know. I just don't think it would work with anything huge. Um. I just think you would lose that fair isle design and it would just start looking wonky. That could just be me, but I think being suited for hats and scarves and gloves and, you know, small cowls and stuff like that, it would be a very, very pretty, on a, you know, knitted. Or, as for me, I'll probably uh, knit myself a hat and a scarf on my knitting machine. Do I like it? Yes. I like it a lot. I love woolies, and this is no exception. Um, it's a shame that I don't you know that three brought three projects with one ball wow hat gloves go to lionbrand.com okay yeah it's smaller projects is what they're what they're making with it uh, you know i don't blame them um but yeah i i like it i do will i buy it again i'll buy it one more time to make a hat and a scarf set out of it on my knitting machine um, if it was something, if I knitted, if I knitted, if I knew how to knit, I would buy it. Yes, definitely. Definitely. I would be knitting stuff out of it. Um, smaller projects, but like gloves and, um, like all the stuff I said, I'd probably even make a cool bag out of it. Knitted a, knitted a cool, knitted a cool bag out of it. But since I don't knit, 
it's not going to be a yarn for me, but maybe a one more time buy for me to make a hat and scarf set because, <laughs> because it is a cool pattern on the knitting machine. It does come up pretty dang cool and the colors are very, very pretty. I like them. So yes, and like I said, $9.99 in today's market, I don't think that's bad considering it's special yarn and all the stuff they have to do. I would pay $9.99 for it. Um, of course, I will always wait for a sale, but if I, you know, it came down to and I needed it, had to have it, couldn't live another day without it, yes, I would pay the $9.99. But other than that, I'm going to wait for a sale, sale to buy, buy it whenever I decide to make my hat and scarf set. So that is my review. Yes, I love it. It gets good marks for me except for i don't think that it's meant for crocheters and i don't think it's meant for big knitting projects other than that i like it if i was a knitter i'd be buying more of it that's it i hope you know you take that as you will remember i'm not affiliated with lion brand bought this myself do not have affiliated links i do not care if you buy the yarn i do not care if you do not buy the yarn i'm only telling you my honest opinion on the yarn and you can roll with that however you'd like. I always recommend though, you try one ball because it could be the best yarn you've ever had or it could be the worst, but you never know unless you try. Buy it on sale though. I'll see you guys on my next video, okay? Take care.